Let's try 360 and see if that will melt the uh, solder, factory solder. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's more than enough. Look at that. So at 360, it just sat right down exactly the way it's supposed to. We'll go ahead and touch this up with the iron, and that'll do it. Today I've got a Galaxy S21 Ultra antenna connecting cable and this would normally be something you just plug in at either end here on the inside of the phone. However on this one both of the connectors are damaged. Now first thing you're going to think is why would you bother trying to repair this? Uh, it's like a two or three dollar part basically and long story short is that uh, we don't happen to have one of these on hand and customers don't like to wait for things. So what we're going to do is take this Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G antenna cable, which doesn't fit because as you can see they keep changing the, the design of these on their, each generation. However, the connector itself is the same. So all we're going to do is move these two connectors over to this cable and uh, that should do the trick. So here is our good connector and I've taped these down right next to each other. We're just going to take that and move it over to this one after we remove it. Probably the only thing you really need to know about this is that it will not require a whole lot of heat because all we're working with here is the cable. So we don't have a motherboard that we're attached to that's going to pull all that heat away from the connector. So getting this off should be a lot easier than it would be uh, if it were something that was installed on the on a phone itself. So I'm going to start here pretty low. I usually come in at about 380C and I think that might be enough. Um, if it isn't, we'll just work up from there and see how it goes. Now since you may not have a hot air station and I wanted to do this as a comparison, I'm going to attempt to remove this using just the soldering iron and I don't think it'll be a problem because it doesn't take a lot of heat in order to get this entire area to melt here. So we'll just put a little bit of flux down here and see if we can melt this off without damage. Um, doing the one of the damaged connectors right now, just so we can uh, practice and see if this comes off clean. All right, so as you saw, it did take a little little time to heat up. And it uh, looks like one of these pins got bent a tiny bit. But I think that was pretty close to successful. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do the other side and see if we can get it off clean. I believe that is possible. It's just that one side of this is probably going to be tougher to melt than the other. So let's try it this way. So we'll do this as if we were going to use this for our donor. And I'll probably add a little solder to the iron beforehand. Let's see if it'll just push off from here. It might. Well. Okay, so we've got leaded solder on both sides now. And you can see the pins melting one at a time. And I think from there we can just shove it off. And as long as it's not, eh, it's still kind of connected there a bit. Let's get that last piece off. Oh, a couple areas here. I stopped a little too soon. Ah. Well, almost lost a pin there. And the lesson is we 
you just need to let the heat saturate it a little bit more. Now we can straighten this out, I think. And I will say that if you've got tweezers, they would be easier. Probably could have taken a um, larger iron tip, but I would say that it is technically possible to remove this with just the iron. So you can do it. It'll take a little practice. It'll take me a little practice to get it off cleaner, but as you can see, this is salvageable. We can still use this to replace it on another cable if we need to. All right, let's see if we have enough heat at 380. And that is plenty of heat. Probably could have come in even lower than that. But uh, that'll work. And what I'm going to do with this is I am going to clean it off. Because you don't necessarily... Uh, you could just transfer the connector over and kind of float it into position. But you can also do this pretty easily with the soldering iron itself. So I think we're going to do it that way. Because you're going to want to reinforce these pins either way. Time for me to replace this tip. Alright, let's get piece that we're moving over. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to hold this so it doesn't slide. Oops. All right, I think that's going to do it. So you can see when you're holding the iron on there for a while, you can actually heat this whole thing up enough that it floats off. So, All right, so we should be good here. If you want to, you can check these pins. No movement. A little bit of flux in there. I'll clean that up a little more later. But let's move on to the other side. Because I think what we'll do is just... Uh, let's take a look at this other side here. Okay, that's all attached. So 
I'm going to just go ahead and do this with hot air. I'm going to drop the heat down a little bit too because I'd like to have a little more time to work with this. Let's try 360 and see if that will melt the uh, solder, factory solder. There we go. Oh yeah. That's more than enough. Look at that. So at 360, it just sat right down exactly the way it's supposed to. We'll go ahead and touch this up with the iron and that'll do it. All right, yeah, a lot of things are easier with hot air than with an iron, that is for sure.